What's up YouTube, I'm Jack, and this is Jow Reacts. And for today's reaction, y'all, we have Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna loyalty i'm most definitely very very excited about this i mean these are two top tier artists on one song now i will say i for sure have heard a little bit of this or at least part of it on the radio because i remember when this came out like this whole album came out y'all know i love being transparent with y'all but i've not heard the whole thing and i also have not seen the music video so that's what i'm gonna be reacting to right now anyways i'm not gonna talk any longer i got the lyrics pulled up of course and let's go ahead and get right into it <laughs> Look like Cujo. What y'all know about that? <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Oh, but you got the blindfold on. Okay. Yeah, loyalty. That's cool. I like that. Couldn't be me though. <laughs> I ain't that strong. Yeah, I remember this part for sure. This course right here. Oh. She took the blindfold off. Hey. Whoa. Oh, that's dope. I, I, I gotta get a little breather y'all I gotta get a little breather and also while I'm taking a breath I might as well go ahead and touch on a few things that I'm absolutely loving about this so first things first I want to talk about a couple lines that stuck out to me in Kendrick's first verse my favorite line by far is when he said my resume is real enough for two millennium that is fire that's fire now I don't know when Kendrick Lamar started when did he start I'm thinking like probably early 2000s, early 2010s, maybe. I doubt that he started in the 90s. I don't think that's the point though. I think it's just that his discography is so incredible that it's gonna last that amount of time, which I definitely think it could. I mean, I think he's one of, if not the best MCs ever. Not that that's like a groundbreaking claim or anything. I think that's a pretty unanimous opinion. Besides the lyrics though, the sound of it is incredible. I told y'all I heard part of it on the radio, so it's not like this is brand new to me, but still that beat, that beat goes crazy. I know Kendrick's production is always top tier and i really like rihanna over the course speaking of she looks gorgeous she looks gorgeous all the ladies in this video look amazing and the visual by the way is crazy too like that scene where they're on the road and, and then it turns to like quicksand that is I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know how they shot that but i'm very very impressed hey Hey. She did a thing. Damn. Huh. What does Cock Diesel do? I don't know about this one, Kendrick. Oh. He ate those punches, though. I'll give him that. Okay, never mind. He, he held his own. I, I take it back. <laughs> Bro, if Rihanna looks in, looks in your eyes like that. She got those Medusa eyes, you know what I mean? Good lord. Mm. Trust me. Oh hell no. I get the concept, but no. <laughs> oh man. It's dope though, it is. But the vertigo in me is like. Tell me who you're loyal to. Is it money? Is it fame? Is it weed? Is it drink? Is it coming down with the loud pipes in the rain? Mm. Chilling only for the power in your name. Tell me who you're loyal to. Is it love for the streets when the lights get dark? Is it unconditional when the robbery don't stop? Tell me when your loyalty is coming from the heart. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. And I love their vocals on top of each other. They sound real good together. And I like hearing Kendrick sing a little bit too. 
So I'm trying to be quick saying with Rihanna. That sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> What's that? It looks like an i8. That's dope. Nah, I couldn't laugh. That went off. They're rich, rich though, so it's okay. This was crazy, crazy good though, and very, very creative. This might be one of, if not the most creative visuals I've done on the channel. I loved every single scene in this video, like all the different concepts from him hanging Rihanna off the building to them being in the quicksand, um, the beginning scene where he has the blindfold on, all the women around him. There was a whole lot of symbolism in this, and I think it reflected the song and the message perfectly and speaking of the lyrics on this were very very good and i know that this is a little bit more of like a radio friendly pop rap type song you know what i mean it's not like one of kendrick's most lyrical songs ever but it still holds a lot of weight and a really good message as well i appreciate all of y'all who recommended me this one i hope y'all enjoyed this video if y'all did please make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications if you haven't already and y'all make sure to have a blessed day blessed night whatever part of the world you're watching this in and peace